What is up, guys? It's your boy Colin Davis back with another Minecraft series. Um, uh, this series is more based on building um, and literally, honestly, everything else that is Minecraft, exploring, adventure, stuff like that. So I'm super excited about this series, and this one I'm actually planning on being consistent with and getting episodes out. And I want this to be a long running series because all my other ones have fallen short. And this is actually one of the first clips I got um, in this series. It is the first clip, and it's because there's literally five creepers chasing me. Like, how does that many creepers spawn in one place? And I really thought, I really thought I was gonna die here. I really did. Um, but the creepers actually ended up killing each other and uh, that saved me. The world itself actually went active in October. So it is, uh, it's an older world, four months, maybe nine months old. Um, but it, we were pretty inactive for a good bit. Um, and these are just kind of the first like steps and processes. Um, this is me getting a mushroom cow from the mushroom biome, bringing him back to neon, which is the capital city of the country, Kiwi, which is one of the maps that we built. Um, so every single map will be a different country and there'll be different capitals and cities within each one. Um, so I'm excited. My guy, what, what are you doing? Why, why? So this t area right here is actually in Rengoku, which is the map that I'm currently building in. I'm building a city named Shinra, and that's going to be the capital of Rengoku. Um, and like, look how pretty, like there's just so many different awesome places to build in this map. And that's why I love it. And y'all already know I had to rob this man right quick in the village. Look what I find in the show. Blue diamond horse armor. Stop playing. My horse about to be dripped out. I just want y'all to watch what happens here. You know, traveling home rainforest it's almost night time i'm in a rush I'm trying to get back and then i hear this little baby zombie coming for me and i kind of freak out fall off two hearts two hearts and i'm eating and the zombie he just shoved me off he just shoved me shoved me off so this is another one of the projects i've worked on this town's name is ayla um i i'm just building a railroad here from here to neon so you can get from place to place quicker so this is actually a storage tower i finished um, and I walk out and this panda's just like, what's up guy? He's just chilling outside. And animals just must be obsessed with me because these two sheep, they tried to hijack my boat and I just, <laughs> I was not having none of that, bro. Like, that's just not yours, no. They gotta, they gotta run them boats back. So I did build a nether portal. This is the first one in the world. Um, and then me and my boy Connor actually go into the nether and kind of see, see what we're working with the spawn. It's not a great spawn that we get, um, but I just, I really want to show off this nice little nether portal build. And if y'all are wondering why the nether looks so dang beautiful, this is Kelly's RTX ray tracing pack on bedrock edition. Um, literally so nice. I actually fell here, which was so goofy, but luckily I lived. And I'm just going to implement all three of these clips because this is this is a story that needs backstory. Um, Caden is my friend here, and uh, he finds his pet baby chicken. That's why I gave him a lead. Um, and they they become best friends. Best, the bestest of friends. Look how happy. Look how happy they are together. Like they're just running around and they're so excited. And and maybe their friendship was weird. Um, and I really don't know why he's hanging the chicken here. And I was kind of concerned about it. Uh, Sandy Chicken just doesn't doesn't deserve this treatment. Um, and this story kind of ends sadly when one day Sandy Chicken dies. Um, I'm pretty sure a creeper blew up and, and murdered the chicken. And um, Caden decided that he couldn't live without his chicken anymore. He couldn't, he couldn't do it. He couldn't go through life without his baby chicken. So he built this tower and, um, he jumps to his death. He jumps to his death. Except he didn't die. Um, cause he didn't build the tower long enough. So it was honestly just a failed suicide attempt. And we moved on from this. I did build a skelly spawner, um, which is something I wish I did every single Minecraft world I start. Um, usually I just don't build XP farms, um, and that's a goofy thing. And I actually end up building one in this map, and oh, look at that. Look how nice. Oh, that's just so nice, but look at all the XP. Oh, my goodness. He, like, what? They just can't be. Look at them, bro. They are literally doing stuff to each other with you right there. They were making out. He's, 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 he's just taking over this his bed. bed. Is so, like, top tier, he has not gotten off of it since. Oh. Okay. What's his name again? This, guy, this is weird. Uh, Colton. That one's Colton. That's not Colton. That's not you. Can't yes, name this me. one's you Colton, and, and this one is Dinky. Dinky and not. That can't be Colton. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be Colton. 
No, it can't be like I can't be named. He, he is the smart one. Okay, so that yeah. so you're trying to reference that like I'm stupid is what you're gonna try. No, to say. It, the duck, not you. Don't talk to me. Why would I call you stupid? Because uh, you're rude and like saying mean. Why would I? Things. Why would I ever do that to you? Because you like right. saying mean things. To me. I'm, I'm about to go into this room up here with old Dinky. Why? Don't worry about that. I did want to plug these photos into the video because I didn't show off Neon enough. Um, and Neon ends up, it actually is a pretty cool looking village uh, and it's not finished and there's still so much more to do. This is before the bridge and then after the bridge and you can see the tree houses in the distance too. I did Bro, actually build this railway from Neon um, to Shinra. Um, and it's about a thousand block distance pretty much. So it's like a two minute and 15 second rail ride, which is pretty cool. And this is the full railroad ride from Shinra to Neon. Um, I still plan on making these floors, like actually furnishing the railroad uh, tunnel. Um, and I want to do cobble on the bottom, cobble on the top. And I think I might do sandstone uh, throughout on the sides. Uh, and I actually finished more. I've already finished more of this, and I, I don't know if I have it in a later clip, and we'll see. Um, but this is this was a this build actually didn't take a crazy amount of time, surprisingly, because there is so much dug out here. Um, but I actually had my my boy Asher help me dig this out, so I appreciate him. Um, and this is just a super. It's a super cool trip. Um, all the way from Sheen Road and I just wanted a quick way to travel. I don't have a Lytra yet, anything like that. And I, I definitely have focused a lot on connecting the different cities around the world. Yeah, and that's the ride. It's actually quite lengthy. Um, <laughs> it's it's crazy how long it actually takes. I literally will go on my phone and just let my character ride all the way there because it takes a solid, it takes over two minutes. This is the start of the wall. This is how I'm gonna, this is gonna be the vibe of it. Nice little red. I want process. credit in I YouTube. Think the, I think that the, um, I think that I'm gonna make the country flag of sh like Rengoku and then even the city of Shinra is gonna be like yeah. red and black. It's gonna be like a black flag, flag with like a red dot in the middle. I wanna be in your YouTube, cool. that's what I want. Azure, you can shout yourself out right now, I'm recording. Follow my Twitch, I'm on 9000, and follow my YouTube, I'm on 900. And Asher wanted to be in this video so bad. So. Here's all the times that he dies or I murder him in this video. Boom, he's gone. Dotted him in his in, in his head, honestly. And then here, he jumps off the roof and and dies. I don't know why he did it. Um, he is a noob, uh, but he was bothering me so much and he just enjoyed bothering me. And he, honestly, he was more work than he was any help. And then here, he tried to steal my diamond pickaxe and my other diamond item that were in the, in those, uh, what are those things called, bro? Yeah, whatever. So I had to hit him with the sword because I was mad. And he died again, and he was angry. This is what we have so far. I'm building the wall around this whole thing. That's why you see this ugly sand right there because I'm terraforming. Um, yeah. This is Asher's house, his little storage house. This is my backyard. It's actually beautiful. Like, look, look at the vibes. Stop playing. Stop playing with the vibes tiny wheat farm. I need to make more farms but I'm out here starving is my little chicken farm. I'm saying, let me show you the cribbo right quick. This is a cribbo. Bridge. 
Did you just die? No, no, no. Yeah, the crew look kind of nice, I can't lie. Yeah, and then Cammy's gonna build her house like right there. But yeah, you know, King of the Chris's so manor. All my storage chest in here. This is my boy. You already know this is my boy Tim. What's Tim? Say what it do, baby. <laughs> say what it do, baby. Yeah, so that's Tim. That's my dog. You know, that's my little set of armor. I'm gonna kill Tim. Grip. And then some different breaky quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Tim. <laughs> like, just look, this room is a vibe, bro. Right, a creeper, I'm screwed. Second floor. Coming to the bedroom. I might do more um, here, actually, but I kind of like the simplicity. Dude! Um, and then, um... Funny diamond. Third floor, and then there's just like a little basement area. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but we'll see in the future. Yeah. That's a little update, guys. And I will update you as I go along. I just want to make sure, like, until I actually start... Until I start recording full episodes, I want to make sure that... I'm ready for that, because it's like a huge editing process. But I at least want to keep you updated to the start of this world and what I've been doing. I did follow a t tutorial online um, to build this automatic farm for my potatoes, carrots, and wheat. Um, this thing has literally worked wonders, bro. If you have, do not have an automatic farm in your world, you are goofing. It This keeps me fed. It keeps me fed all, all the time. And I, oh man, I just don't know why I don't always build these in other worlds as well. But um, definitely a great, a great idea to do it. And uh, it's worked wonders. This is the finished product. Um, and I go ahead and plant my carrots, wheat, and potatoes. And then this is the actual completed version of the farm. Um, and then everything is fully grown here. Um, so you will see me go over here and um, flick this lever. Um, and when I flick that lever, it's the water actually washes down all of the carrots, the wheat, and the potatoes into these droppers. And then these droppers empty into this chest. Um, and actually, the first time I built it, it did not go correctly because they didn't actually drop in. So I actually fixed this later on, um, and it does work correctly. It was just one block short, I'm pretty sure. I did add this dock, like this little fishing dock and boat dock um, right outside of the wall that I'm building around Shinra. Um, and I, I still have not completely finished the wall, but I am continually making more and more progress on it as I go. But I literally just, I love this dock and the whole aesthetic of the dock. I think it, it, it really looks good, especially with the gate behind it. Um, and I just thought this was a really cool, really cool addition um, to Shinra. And this is a clip of me actually building the wall and um, how I built it and the design I put behind it. I also watched a YouTube video on different wall builds and um, I saw someone uh, do one uh, like this. Um, they use a different color wool, um, but it's pretty much copycat of the video that I did watch on walls. Um, and I just kind of want to be more creative. And I did with these builds that I have in this world, I invest a lot more time than I usually do in builds. Um, Cause usually I use a lot of like the cheaper stuff and um, cheaper items, um, but it, I, it doesn't look as good. And so I wanted to actually invest a lot more time into this world and what I was building to make sure that it does look top tier. And I do think this wall with this dock and then the whole vibe of the city itself, it just, it's awesome. And um, you'll see it continue to come together as I put more buildings into the city of Shinra. The view of Shinra from here, uh, it, it just gets better and better as uh, the progress on the town itself um, goes and, and more buildings get put up and grows. Like, and there's a whole different video with this similar perspective of me riding this boat towards Shinra with the wall, um, a, a lot of the wall being done and some more buildings placed right there. And I think it's so cool to actually just see the progress. And that's the one of the my favorite things about recording my Minecraft videos is because you can see the progress from something uh, of, of nothing like literally nothing being on this island at all to a whole establishment in town and I think that's so cool so I did start working on a little production district right outside of Shinra um, it's going to be a little automatic sheep farm here and I wanted to uh, end up having all 16 different sheep um, colors there uh, of wool and uh, it'll automatically farm it for me and I did build this little Japanese styled um, house also uh, reviewed off of another YouTube video um, that I watched um, and appreciate that guy for this really, really cool design. Um, and I usually don't build designs like this, um, but I did want to branch out a little bit more and uh, out of my comfort zone and work on some different types of builds. Um, definitely a really cool vibe in here. I like how it's little, literally divided from the bed and then you can go up the ladder here and you have a little upstairs, st upstairs storage area, which is super cool.
I promise you I would have never killed this polar bear, but his cubs were around and he just started attacking me. He didn't ask any questions. Um, so I had, to, I had to put him down and I do feel horribly bad about that. What a beautiful, what a beautiful Minecraft creature. Um, but I do want y'all to check, take a look at this. Like this is such a cool spawn for a sunken ship, like right into the iceberg. Like that's actually so cool. Um, so yeah, this is just me a video of me checking this out and how good this looks. I can make that. We'll send it, big trust. Oh god. Watch this slip first, honestly. It's kind of a no. Bruh, always be some polar bear with his kid. So salty that I'm just walking through. Like, chill out. I wanted that emerald, but honestly, I'm kind of too lazy. I'm just trying to explore the rest of this map. This map is actually gorgeous. Like such a nice map. Like look at these mountain ranges and the village just right there in the middle. And a swamp biome right next to a tundra biome. Doesn't really make sense, but it's so tough. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Guys, that was interesting, was it not? Was that not interesting as a mug? Oh. Kind of had a miniature heart attack there, I cannot lie. Look how pretty this is. And this is right above my main, like the map that I'm building in. Well, no, I actually think it's right to the, it's right to the left. I'm pretty sure. And look, it's actually a gorgeous map. So nice. I gotta explore a lot of maps because my map wall is so, there's so much to be done. I've explored a lot, like I think I've, five or six maps is explored maybe more possibly more but no this map is gorgeous like what look at that view like bruh and while i was exploring this map i did actually find um the stronghold um and i i really kind of just explored it for a little bit found where the actual um the end portal is and uh, it has no ender eyes in it, sadly. So there will be a nether, <laughs> a nether trip in the future for me to get blaze rods. Um, but I did find the stronghold. This is me beginning the build on my Shinron Corporation headquarters building. And what Shinron Corporation is going to be in this map is I'm going to build different little, um, different buildings around the world. Um, and it, it's going to be like the trans a transportation company and production company. Um, and I plan on, uh, it, it's going to be the base of operations for international projects and also regional projects that I'm building like within the map and within the city. Um, but it definitely a, one of my favorite ideas I've ever come up with, um, just building like a corporational building. Uh, and I think that it actually turns out really, really well. And then this is a different clip of me finishing up kind of like the rest of the building. Um, and I made pretty good progress on it. I think this build took me to get it. I had to get the materials as well. I didn't have all the materials for it. So like to get gather materials and also build the building, it took me uh, around four or five hours to do so. Um, but I, it, it turns out great in the end. Um, and I also furnished the whole entire thing. Um, and it, it, it's just a really good looking building and it's also materials I don't haven't used enough and often enough with uh, the polished diorite and um, the, also the cobblestone deep slate. Um, I just think the aesthetic of it looks amazing. And this is the finished product pr product for the exterior of the Shinron Corporation building. Um, I do end up adding a sign on the top of it that says Shinra, which is the name of the city. Um, and it looks so fire, but I, I love this building. I love how it looks. And um, yeah, just stick with me as I add a little bit more to it. Oh, you're just, okay. You don't have to talk. They could, they could, hear you. They could. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to emote, bro. I don't even know how to do that. What are you clicking? How do... Cammy, tell me how to do that. Left on the D-pad. The left on the D-pad? I'm playing with... Oh. It reminds me of old PewDiePie when he'd always do the duck. Like, right. He's kind of the GOAT. Cammy, what you, you rank the building on a scale 1 to 10? Let's see, let me get a good inspection. It's just not completely furnished though, so... Yeah, I need to sniff out every corner. Outside. Do a full roundabout. Pretty smooth. I'm gonna do more to the outside, like I'll make like... I'll I figured, yeah. Here. 
so it doesn't look like this just stands still building on the flattest land. Yeah. You know, you know. Definitely st still working on it, but damn, were you addicted to that computer, bro? Terrific. <laughs> There's definitely gotta be like an office details video on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, this is just nothing else is done. Only the first floor and the fifth floor. Just sniff all the walls. Make sure it's actually compatible with city city ordinances. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that was you. I didn't know. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Inspector gadget. Inspector. Inspector gadget. Yes. <laughs> I appreciate the job you do. And this is there a three? Floor. You see all that? Is there roof entrance? There is a roof. Oh, perfect. You I should set my spawn. Off. Yeah, I was gonna set my spawn. I should have done that. <laughs> You're gonna commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just gotta. But I can make this water. I have feather falling. <laughs> I got feather falling for on. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm. Wait, brave. watch. You see me? Uh huh. But I can make the water. Are you sure? You... <laughs> did you oh actually God, make it? <laughs> yeah, I made it. I, <laughs> I got it all on to. video, bro. I didn't you think got I was gonna make... Did you just mess up one of my plants? I kind of heard. I heard it break. No, you heard, didn't. I heard it break. Yeah. No, I'm just talking about okay. you're insane. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking okay, about? Let me just go check right quick. Hey, Cammy. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Where? Ain't no way. Ain't no way you <laughs> broke it and you just dipped set, bro. Where did you go? I don't you know. disappeared, bro. No, Magic. Forget you, bro. I'll go. I'll go fix it. It's cool. It's whatever. I have to burn down your house. I'm playing. <laughs> Are you still watching me? Yes. Ain't no way. I just don't see you, and I'm kind of scared, though. Cammy. <laughs> 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 that took me a hot minute, bro. I fixed it. I was behind that the entire time. You just time. owe me like 20 diamonds now. Get two carrots. I think those are my carrots. <laughs> no, they are. You're good. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I hope y'all actually enjoyed this video. Um, I did made a lot of great progress, especially this bridge, the Shinron bridge that I built, and finishing the the Shinron Corporation headquarters building. Um, but it looks great. I know this video is very different um, in how a Let's Play usually is. Um, but I, did, I didn't want to commit to a full Let's Play. I wanted to just give y'all snippets of the progress that I make. And then if y'all do want a full Let's Play and full videos, please let me know in the comments. Go ahead, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all are enjoying, enjoyed episode one and are enjoying this series so far. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, and we will continue on. I'll see y'all in the next one.